Right. So it's been a while since I've been in here. I've forgotten what we've up, been up, what we're up to. So let's just let's just hit it. Oh my god, mate, dude! A thousand bits. Oh my god, mate. Thank you. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> wow. That's a big number. That is a big number. We were looking at moving sprites around. We did. We we were working on the death. We worked on the death, didn't we? Because I kept dying, if I remember. Um. Yeah. Oh, but we had that glitch here, didn't we? We've got that glitch there. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, mate. That is an awful lot of bits that you've just given. Thank you very much. That is an awful lot of bits. Right, so... um, What I was planning on today was... We've got... We've got him dying. Um, we've got the basics up and running. What I wanted to do was add some power-ups. Yeah? <laughs> Thank you very much, my friend. Thank you. Um, so, I was thinking of adding some power-ups. And, and I, I come up with... Um, a timer power up that gives you more time because now we're going to die there you go um a power up to give you an extra life so to speak um maybe a power up to add um add numbers to the score yeah and that's what an, an armor power up which i thought would be good uh, in, as, as a as a um, inv invincibility power up, which meant that while you was invincible, and so you would be invincible for a set amount of time, that the um, anything couldn't hurt you, you know, stuff like that. So you could walk through, have the arrow go through you, um, and none of the bad guys could do anything to you. So we have. The, the, they're, the, they're the sort of things that I was thinking of. But the problem is, we've got... These are the sort of things that need to be destroyed. And I say destroyed in inverted commas. Because you don't want... When you scroll the screen, because we're reading the map directly. If we put the power-ups in the map, yeah? When we scroll off... And I'm going to stop this. Right, so when we scroll off, yeah, and we've used the power up, when we come back, because we're reading the map, we'll bring the power up back. So um, we need to do some we need to do some tweaking before we can sort of implement it. And what I was thinking of was instead of reading the map, we could every time we do a new map, we Evaluate the charpad file, dump it into some memory out the way, and then we read that because then when we when we find a power up, we can then go to the map and just wipe it out and say gone. So we destroy the data that's in the map, but the original map is still intact. It's just the fact that we've destroyed. We're using some memory to hold the map in place. So, um, I'm not sure where we could put it, to be honest. <laughs> I'm not sure where we could put it. So, I need, let me just run this again so we can see the, 
see the map see the cold map right here we go right so we have some available space there yeah there So we, I'm just wondering if we could use C thousand as the um, the map. Now currently, currently, that um, currently that our map is forty. It's not forty wide, is it? Oh yeah, so it is. Okay, so, oh, it's 40 wide in terms of tiles, yeah. So, um, oh, I think it's 40 wide. Oh, it's been a while since I've been in there. Let me load Charpad up. Oh, okay, it's not going to do it. Okay, so we're on. Are we on that one? Oh yeah, we're on that one, aren't we? Eleven. So why am I loading nine? Hmm. Hmm. Right. So we are. It's 60 wide. I was going to say. 60 wide. What am I looking at then? Oh, that's the hood. Uh, uh. I was looking at the hood. Map array. Here we go. So we're on V9. Right, okay. We're on V9. But we'll use V11 anyway, which is the 5 one. So, what we need to do, so it's... Hello! So what we need to do is, we have got... Our maps are 60 tiles wide by uh, 10 tiles deep. So that works out to 120 characters wide. So, if we are 120 characters wide... Yes, we are. 120 characters wide by 20 characters deep. So, where's my calculator? Du, 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 120 times 20 is 2400. Oh, we'll be able to fit it there. Yes, we can fit that there. Right, C1000 is going to be where we are going to build our map. So we're going to recreate this map as it looks in C1000. And then we're going to use the C1000 memory space to drive the scroller. Rather than the, rather than the map drive the scroller, we're going to, we're going to use the map... To define C1000 and then the scroll is going to be looking at C1000. So we need to do a lot of tweaking. We need to do a lot of tweaking. So. So what we need to do. We need to change. We need to change the. Um, we need to change the scroller. We need to change. We need to change the map. Map evaluator. Oh, lots of stuff that needs to be changed. So, um, but that's the idea, yeah? So, we evaluate the map, we dump it into C1000, and then the scroller uses the C1000 memory space to, to represent our viewport on the screen. 
and then as we're traversing the game any power-ups that we find we can then update the map on C1000 to say that power-up's gone which takes it away so when we scroll back yeah it's still missing it's still gone we, it doesn't suddenly reappear and then we can get another timer <laughs> let's ship it <laughs> it's it's getting there it's getting there I, I've, we've got because now we've done the lives uh, we need to work out the point system and stuff like that but I thought the power ups would be a good one so um, so that's initializing the scroller so this is where we're drawing the screen from the map and so we are not going to be drawing the screen from the map anymore. We're going to be drawing the memory space. So here. So right, what we're going to do is we're going to do label uh, staging stage ram. Yeah, that'll do. Because that's what it is. And we're going to say it's there. That's where our staging ram is going to be. <laughs> hey oh look the scroller on the screen's working yay oh dear yes 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 yeah right so what we're gonna do is we need to change this so we're gonna be tweaking yeah so i'm gonna rem that out and put that back put it in and we are going to change it to stage ram. <laughs> it's not quite a hundred percent, but I'm getting there. I've still got to learn something. Right. So, um, so we're setting the stage ram. Oh, ooh, 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 I've just remembered. we got the colour ram as well, haven't we? Ooh, 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 well, that's going to throw a bit of a spanner. Oh, it's just over, isn't it? Poo. Um... It's just over. Ooh, um, yeah, yeah. Let's have a look. The problem with the RLE, mate, is that when we destroy it, we've got to re RLE it. I'm trying, I'm trying, uh, not to do that. Um, let's refire it back up. It's, oh, and I hit the wrong button as well. Go. Been using CPS too much. Right. So ignore that. There we go. So I'm just wondering if we can do it just before it. Yes, we could do it just before it. C, uh, C, D, E, F. That would be enough. Oh, we put it under kernel. We could put it to E thousand. Then we wouldn't have to worry about it. Because I think I think we've got rid of everything, didn't we? We we take everything out. Let's have a look. That's what I'm just I'm just uh, confirming that. Hang on, game logic start of game. Uh, 
Um. Unless it's in there, which I doubt. Oh! Well, we bank out basic. We bank out basic. So, if we're banking out basic, we'll use that. If we're banking out basic, we'll start at B1000 and work his way down. So, that'll be B1000 to C2. That'll do. That'll do. We'll do that. We'll do that. Right, so. Uh, right, and we'll need, we'll need one for staging the color. So that would be um, B A O O, I think. Yes, so nine sixty would be B A O O. Yep, yeah, that'll do. Right, so stage color so we'll grab that rem it out put that there right and then we can evaluate the map so we should be able to then do the whole lot. So here where we test 14, which is 20, we should be able to do 60 there. Because we want to evaluate the whole map. Uh, 60, that is what, that 33C? Oh, get in there! <laughs> My hex is starting to get better. So we evaluate the map, the entire map, at B1000 and so on. Right, so this is... So we need to change that. But we need to add a routine. We need to add a routine now to um, to initialize the screen as well, because now we've put it there. We need to initialize the screen. So um, maybe. Maybe, 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 maybe. We could do the color, we could do the screen at the same time. Yes, yes, we could do that, couldn't we? Because this draw screen is to start it off. We just have to test X. Oh no, I don't like that idea. Right, don't like that idea. So let's grab this. We'll put it at the end. But we'll wrap it. We're going to wrap it in curly brackets. So 
so this is going to once the once the map has been put into C thousand, this is going to take whatever's in C uh, B thousand and put it on the screen. That's what we're going to do. So we need to undo that. We need to create a new place called stage. We need to undo that and we need to create a new one called color stage. Oh, my variables are on fire. Whoops. Right, so we don't need to initialize the map. It's just a straightforward copy. So LDY hash zero and LDX hash zero. Right, so this is going to be the row looper. And then this one is going to be the column looper. Right. So, don't need all that, don't need all that, don't need all that, don't need all that. That's what we need. There. So, we are going to load from, what did I call it? Stage. Comma Y. And we are going to store it in screen. And then we're going to do the same with the color. And store it in the color RAM. Then we I and Y compare it with uh, 20, which is uh, 188, 18. That's 24. Okay, six. Oh, uh, one four. Yeah. If it's not equal to 20, then go back to col. Looper. If it is, then we need to add we need to add 20. So we're gonna have to do four of these. So we'll get rid of that one. Ah, see there we go. That's what I want. Them. So we're going to add 20 to the screen and the color RAM, but to the staging area, we are going to be adding the width of the stage, which is, have we got that as a constant? Yes, map width, there we go. And that is going to be stage, and that's going to be cut stage color stage. What did I call it? Stage color? Can't remember. No, color stage. <laughs> so now. Really, I need to do row, don't I? Really need to do row. Doesn't matter about why, that gets reset. So, ink, don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. So, we add 20. We add 40 to the screen and the color. 
we add 60 to the screw the map increase the row and now we are doing 20 so that's sort of one four branch if not equal to row looper yep and then if it is we jump out So in the draw now, because we have got this constant here, let's use it. Here. Do we have one for rows? That's a good one. No, because they're all the same. Okay. Right, so we're going to call this... Um, not extract stream, but... Um, export screen. So we're exporting screen to the, the thing, and then this one can be draw screen. That one can be draw screen. So, is there a. Is. Yes, there is. Here we go. So, what's that doing? Map, evaluate left column. Oh, evaluate left column. Okay. Initialize map low. Okay. Okay. Um, right. Let's see if we've broken it. Logic. Let's see if we've broken it. So we need to... Why won't you close up? Okay. Where's the setup? Initialize map. Here we go. So we initialize the map. So the first thing we're going to be doing, instead of JSR draw map, we're going to do map dot. I called it extract, didn't I? Export. So we export the screen and then we draw the screen. Right. Let's see if we've broken it. Yep, we broken it. Du -du 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 -du. Let's have a look. That goes in screen, that goes in colour. Do the map tiles, do the offset. We add one to the screen and two to the colors, that's fine. Then we compare it with 60, yeah that's right, that's right. Ah here, this is it. Uh, 
That's it. And that is going to be the width as well. We're trying... Hey, great. For hey, great. We are trying... We we're try we're going to try and implement power ups, but we've got to we've got to rejig the way we draw the screen and the scroller to make it work. So we're trying to rejig the screen, and I've broken it at the moment. <laughs> I've definitely broken it. Just trying to understand what's going on. Um. Right, I'm going to put a breakpoint after it's done the export. Because I'm just wondering if it's if it's the screen copy that's got doing the problem. So, F6. Oh. Where's Quasi gone? Right, so we should have um Aha Is that the one I wanted? No, that's the one, isn't it? So in B thousand we should have our screen. Let's just make sure it's there first. There we go. Now that stopped. That stopped at B6. So there's something going wrong there. I would have expected that to come up to down here and then the the colour one starts. I mean the colour one's right. It's gone right to the very end. The colour one has. Oh, has it? Um, one, two, three, four, five... Oh no, that's done six as well. Have I miscalculated this on it? Hundred and twenty wide times twenty tall. Two hundred and forty. Hmm. Oh, hang on, hang on. Right. Let's see if that fills the whole memory up. Right, B, come on, all the way to A. Oh, I think we've got it there. I think we've got it. Right. Get rid of that. Oh, you little, little. That's 
that, I'm sure that's the screen copier. Yeah, I'm sure that's the I'm sure that's the copier. Um It's this. Oh, I've done the same mistake again. Okay, so it ain't that. Let me work this out. So, screen RAM is 40. That's the staging area is 0 times the map width. Doesn't matter, just the start of it. Load the stage, store it on the screen. We are copying 20. Oh, ha! <laughs> That would help. I'm still thinking tiles, aren't I? Right, we're getting there. Right, so we've got the full screen in. Now, I'm just wondering if my times two down here is... Can't be... No, it can't be wrong. wrong. Because we're... Yeah. Right. So we load. F hey, phase. All right, my command. We'll see in a bit. Uh, right. Okay. So we load twenty. We add twenty to the screen, and we add forty to the screen and color ram, and then we add one twenty to the staging and map. That should be right, but. I would put money that I've got the evaluator wrong. Not the hood. This bit here. Let's have a look. So, we do that. Map tile. So the map tile is definitely the map width. The map tile is definitely the map width. Um, let's put that breakpoint back in. Let's put that breakpoint back in. So there. I should be able to see if the um, screen's right. Can't remember which one it was. Aha! Right, so this is where the screen is. So it's doing it right, look. It's doing it right because there's the column. 2i, then we've got two screens before it does the next one. So the evaluator's working. The evaluator's working. It's putting the characters in the correct spot. Right, so it's putting the characters in this correct spot. So we are, we are we should be fine. So, um, so it's the drawing. It's it's actually taking that e exported map screen stage and putting it on the screen. Right. Let's have a look. So if we load the stage and then store it in the screen, load the colour stage, store it in the screen. Fine, that works. Then we add 28 
we add 40 to the screen, 40 to the color, yeah. And then on the stage, we add 120 and 120 for the color stage. So that, that should be right. All right, we'll step through it. Let's let's see what's going on. So I want that view. There we go. That's the view I want. So we're going to we're going to jump into the routine and we are going to run. Here we go. So we start with the first character store it. Or the colour. Here we go. So that looks about right. 27, 28. Right. So we load the low byte of this, add 28, and store it back. Right. 4028. That's right. And then the high byte stays the same. Then we load this one here, add 28, store it back, which is right. And we're going off the screen, load six, for, that's this one here. So load that, had seven, eight, okay. Is 120. Add 120, store it back. So that should have made it B078, which it has. Do the high byte and same with that. Increase our column. Load it. Compare it with 14, which is 20. Fresh noddy. Right, let's do the Lex line. That is out. That is out. So what is that doing? Let's have a look at the char pad. So we're doing map one. So we've done here. So it's come back with our pillar. Now that means it's doing this. It can't, no, it can't be doing that. It must be doing this. Yeah, pillar, bell, bell. Pillar, bell. So it's doing this. Okay, have I, miscal have I miscalculated on my um, things? If it's 60 wide and we are a 2x2, two two, that's 120 characters. Surely. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So that's saying 80. But that's not right. Yes, I mean that's still sixty. Right, so we've got a we problem is we're starting there when we should be starting here. So we're we're not adding up correctly. So let's go back. So it's this bit here. So the map width is sixty times two.
Unless my evaluator's wrong. Ooh. Ooh. Right, let's re examine this. So we're doing up to the 60, which is right. That's the tiles. Times two. We add the file width to the tile map and we add 120 to the screen and color. Oh, hang on. Right. So that, I think, is that. Let's see if I'm right. Nope, I just made it worse. Du, 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 du. I think I'm getting my tiles and characters mixed up. Think and get me tiles and characters messed up. Hmm. Oh, hang on. We're adding here already. I wonder if I do I need to do I need to? I 
that's doing that's pointing to the top corner so get this get the map do the four get the map do the four get the map do the four and then we add the line in now the line in this case is 120 no it's got to be that it's got to be that Hate this, hate this. Where's our point leader? That looks right. That looks right. Oh, maybe not. Oh, I don't know. No, that looks right. Okay. So So it, okay, so it's doing That's too early. Where's our, where's the arch? Is it in the middle of the map? No, it's not. It's at the end. That's there. So where's all this? Right. Okay. So we've got the down arrows, the, l the l line of... Cr oh, come on, John. Get a grip. Oh, it's missing, isn't it? Oh, hang on. We are missing. We are missing this row here. Because we've got... Oh. We've got the down arrow. There's no down arrow. I wonder if I'm overwriting it. I wonder if I'm overwriting. Right. Okay. Let's run through. Let's put a break point before we event before we export the map. Um. so we should be able to move to it so we should be able to move it so we're going to move our screen from 4000 to can I shift it can I shift that no oh, I was going to shift it Never mind. We'll go to the other one. There. So we're looking in this screen. No. Not that. That. This one. Yeah, you know, B1000. Uh, here. It's what we're looking at. Right. So we're going to run through it and see what comes up. So initialize. Let's see what happens on that screen. Does it auto update? Yeah. 
Here we go. Right, so it's evaluating the tiles, right? There's the next set. Now I'm watching the memory as well. Right, so there's the next next bit of wall. So let's just um, remind ourselves where are we? We are here. We are here. So it's still writing. So this is where I think it's going wrong when it moves to the next line. Yeah, look, it's not dropped. It's, it's only dropped down the one line. It's only dropped down the one line. Right, so that's... Oh, John. Ah. Oh, I've just remembered. It's this. Right, zero, one. It's not 40, it's 120 and 121. Ugh. Plank. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm allowed to say it. <laughs> Ooh, right. Um, right, let's go back. Are we at B? We're at B now. So we'll stay there and we'll run through it. So hopefully now. <laughs> right. So we should see the top line and then three characters down the bottom line. There we go. Right, let's fast forward this. That looks right. Okay, so let's go back to our screen and we'll evaluate the screen copy now. There we go. Right, let's see what see what that's done. We'll take the uh, we'll take the brakes out. Right, so what's missing there? What's wrong with that? Right, so that's definitely something wrong with our our copier. It's got to be. So we'll put the breakpoint back in on drawing the screen, and we'll see what it's doing.
Right. Let's see if we can figure out what's going on. So far, so good. Right, is that right? No. That's wrong there. Look, we've got something here, and that is clearly wrong. Because we got wall bell wall bell two spaces bell this i think this wall shouldn't be a this wall shouldn't be appearing here we'll just carry on That I mean it's miss it's missing the bit there as well, isn't it? Missing that bit there. That right, let's work this out. Let me just move this to this side so I can see what's going on. So we're missing something there, missing a lot there. So where's that? I wonder if that is... I wonder if that is what's further down. Yeah, that is what's further down. Right. Right, so we're looking at the top of that screen here, right? So we're getting this, and we got this, okay? And we got that, we got that, and we got that. So we got the first row was right. Then the second row started. But I think it's, yeah, it's jumped. It's come to here, and it's done that. Then that. Right, so I have, we have jumped too far in the staging area. We've jumped too far in the staging area. Yeah. It seems that we've jumped too far in the staging area. Which could be this. So we'll just try this. We'll just try that. I'm not convinced. To be honest, I'm not convinced, but we'll try it. Right, let's see what happens now. Yeah, the first step was taking the char pad map and rendering it into a screen format. And now we're copying to initialize the screen. Right, we're definitely wrong. Definitely wrong there. So I'm just wondering if the evaluator is still wrong.
Yeah, we're, take, we're, we're decoding the map into memory and then doing a straight copy, yeah? But I'm not convinced the, the decoder's still... I think the decoder's still glitching. Um, maybe it's this. But it can't be because... Maybe it is. Because if he's done 120, if we've done the map width, which effectively is 120, then we need to add another 120, which is what it's doing here. Oh, let's, let's go back. Let's look at that memory again. Uh, why do I have to mess around with stuff? Right, so we are looking here. It's still wrong, look. Or is it? Where's our... Oh, yeah, okay. I'll, I'll let it off. There's another one there. Just co co coincidentally, it's in exactly the same place. Okay. So it does that. And it does that. This is doing the second bit. Oh, we're missing. The evaluator's wrong. It's missing. It's missing a row. So it's actually missed a row out. Okay, so it's missed a row out. Okay. So let's take that out. But I am not convinced it's that. Right, I'm going to run through it. It's going to be boring, but I'm going to run through it. Let's see if we're overwriting. Right. Oh, it's already drawn it. I thought I got, Oh, have I got a break point in the wrong place? Yes. Right. Okay, so we're looking here. So it's in this screen. So I'm going to put that there. And then we're going to run through it. And we're going to see what it's doing. So it's going to take a while for it to do it. But we can see the memory changing. So we know it's working. So we're representing it right on there because three, because each screen is 40 characters and we have three screens in a stage. So that's three rows for every row. So we'll, we'll, we're all right at the moment. Just keep an eye on it. Yeah. <laughs> 
In fact, I can make this go quicker. Hang on. We can put a break point. After every tile's done. So we'll do a break point after every tile's done. There we go. Right. Let's start this again. So that's where we are, and we are going to do a break point for every tile, here we go. So now we should see tiles appear, that's better, that's better, we can see what's going on. Right, so that's the next line, and we keep on going. Right, here we go, so this is where coming to the end and then we'll 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 just step through it so seven eight so seven one zero one two three four five right so we'll step through this now so this is the last tile on that on that row I think so we're adding 78 and we're adding 78 there Increasing it, testing the record, going back. Right. So that's row one. Let's see what row two gives us. And that's wrong. Right. So... We are adding, 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 adding. Hang on. So D, B, so this is roughly where we are, right. F11, right, we're doing tiles, here we go, running through the tiles. Right, next line. Right, sussed it. Get rid of that. Just get rid of that, get rid of that. Now the new map width is 60, three screens. The stage is three screens wide, not two screens wide, yeah? There we go, sussed it. <laughs> So that's in, that's initializing the screen. So that was the initializer. So now we need to we need to now um, we now need to when we do the scrolling. Oh, I, oh I've got to play the game, haven't I now? No. God, quasi jump. <laughs> oh come on pathetic jump oh I did it oh no <sighs> right I'm gonna take the di I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take the um, the collision detection now hang on um, where is it Logic. It's got to be in here somewhere. Where's the game loop? Here. Uh, 
Um. Where's the game loop? I thought it was there. Oh, that's dazed. That's dazed. Hang on. Yeah, playing. Here we go. Uh, so I want to disable... I want to disable sprite collision. Here we go. Right, so we should, we should be able to play without having to worry about being shot up the bum. There we go. Right, um, I forgot what I was doing. Oh, the scroll. Right, so the scroll, this the scroll in left and right, that's still looking at the map. Right? So that's still looking at the map. So what we need to do is we need to change those two routines to now look at the um, screen, the, the staging uh, storage area. So um, we've got a hint of where we need to go because it's here. All right? Because this is where it's looking at. So it's in the map. Evaluate right, left column and evaluate right column. And these are going to be wrong. Because these 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 are going to be wrong. So let's it, well, let's have a look at the evaluation column. So, so initialize is okay. We're all right with that one. Export screen. We're fine with that one. Oh, I wish I'd put curly brackets all around all this lot anyway evaluate left column so this is now this is at the moment it's looking at the map that's what it's looking at it's looking at the map looking at the tiles decoding the tiles drawing um, and and putting the in the temporary storage so what we need to do now is stop it doing that and we need to make it look at the stage in storage yeah so, um, so this is where it's saying look at the map, right? And we're not. There you go. So we need to, right, so, okay. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to comment that out and paste it so we've got the original so we can go back if we need to if we need to so so we're looking at the screen row top yeah Do we do a divide by two? Right, okay, so the tile co the tile column is what it's looking at. Right, I'm just going to 
do a quick search for this because I want to see what we're doing with that. Okay, let's try it without it. Ah, here we go. Yes. Right, okay, so we are... Dividing it by two. Work out map column. So we're dividing it by two. So we need to times that by two. Okay. Right. So we can ignore all this. Right, okay. Um, What's Y? Where's Y? Right, screen row, okay. This tile column, okay. Um, oh, having to unravel this is a pain. map tile column where's the uh, scroller gone map tile column right hand so the right hand column Divide by two gives us our map tile column. Uh, 
roll and that gives us our oh that gives us our tile column right okay 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 i understand now i understand okay so um so basically it's this what we need to look at Right. Evaluate left. That is this side, isn't it? need this hang on evaluate left column that's that Should have really thought of this before doing this. But we'll get there. So why is our row? And so we're testing... Right, yeah, okay, so why is our row? Okay, so we'll uh, we'll ignore that. So map column add twenty. Okay, okay, that confused me. Right, so to convert this, so this is this is going to set up this to be our our staging area by the init. We've got to change that. So we're loading the top row. We don't we don't need this. Don't need that. We need uh, where is it? We need that. Right, and we add forty because we're testing for the edge of the screen. Transfer into that, and then we load it out of our area. We don't need to do this tile lookup. Don't need to do that. Don't need to do that. X is already in the spot that we want. Store it in the buffer.
Um, push that to the stack because we need to need it. And then pull here. Transfer out of that. So we need another... Right, okay. Right, so we need to we need to rename this. So this is the staging stage character. Hmm, maybe we don't need to do this because if we're fixing it, we can fix it to our constants. So our constants is that. So we don't need that, we just do that. That. And then we do the same again, but this time for the color. Or did I call it color stage? No. Oh, stage, stage color. And this is going into staging color. Which is in fact, oops. Which is in fact that, put there, grab that, put that there. Do that, store it in the color buffer. We don't need to do this. Oh, let me just check. Yeah, we don't need to do that. Don't need to do that. So, our staging character Don't need to do that because we are doing add with um, what was it called? Ah, map width. Times two. Store it back in there do that and we're gonna have to do the same with the color can't get away from it Test it with a screen bottom. If it's not, go back and do it again. Right. Let's do the same with the right one. Let's copy it. Comment it out paste it back in so same philosophy so we'll do the same thing so we'll grab that we'll put that there
Don't need that. That is just that. So stage character goes there. Don't need to do that. Don't need to do that. Don't need to do that, but we need to do that. Then we can grab that. Uh, da, 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 that. But that is going to be stage color. And it store it away. Don't need to do that. Don't need to do that. We need to do the same with the add in. Compare with screen bottom. Go back. Ooh, this is going to be fun. Right, let's see if I've broken it. F6, does it? No. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, la, 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 la. So it's here. So we don't need these now. Don't need those. Because it's hardwired. It's, we're going to be looking at the screen all the time. Are you alright? You need any help? No. You sure? Yeah. Are you sure? Okay. Right, let's see if we can scroll. So we should be scrolling there. Oh, the sprite's a bit weird, isn't it? Huh? Well, I don't think I've bust the... Ugh. I think the scroll is working. <laughs> John, come on. Jump. Right, so the scroll is working. Right, let's go back the other way to just make sure that the other side's working. I don't know why that um, sprite's going a bit funny. Right, so we haven't bust the scroller. So I can I can demonstrate I can demonstrate the fact that we're using the the staging screen area now because what I can do is we can change a character on here but I could I, yeah but that is definitely not using the map now because we've rem the map code out Yeah, so it's definitely using the uh, staging area. Right. So now what we need to what we're 
what we need to do now is um, is create a character for the power and see if we can see if we can um, Right, mate. See you in a bit. See if we can uh, eliminate it from the screen, uh, from the the map. Hmm. So, let's go in here. Right. Let's create another. Uh, let's create another character. Right. So this power pill. Is going to look something like that. Just for the hell of it. Straight and forward. Something like that. So let's add it to our tile set. So pick that and put it there. Oh, okay. Pick that and Paste it there. There we go. <laughs> oh dear. I am rubbish at this program. We'll change the colour. Uh, we'll make it... Um... Make it that. And we'll give it... We'll give it a new number. So we are using up to th four, aren't we? So if I let's let's do F. Let's give that an F. Right. Where's my con game constants? Uh, da, 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 da. Where's the block? Blocks, 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 blocks. Here we go. Blocks. Right, so we've give it an we'll give it an F, and we're going to say that that's a power pill. So let's put that on. Let's say it's there, just just for just for convenience, and we'll put one there as well. So save that. Export all. Right. So we're going to have to now change all our references. So our character set is now V11, 17, 11, 20, 21. Uh, character set 2. Now we're leaving that the same because we haven't changed that one. Sprites we're leaving. 
Hood is not in that one. Right, so V11. Tiles, so that's 17, 11, 2021. Our colours, V11. And then our map, which we're already using. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Oh, I'm cha I've changed V9, haven't I? Ah. Back, back, back. Back, back, back. Yeah, I've changed B9, haven't I? I've changed the V9 character set. Oh, what a wallet. Oh, well, it does matter. Even though this one's the latest one, V9 will be fine. Right, okay. Let's see if we see that new tile. Well, it's not there, okay. So what am I missing? Map tiles. Yep. Characters. Yeah, that's character attributes. Maps. Oh, we're using the V11, aren't we? It's V9. Now let's just make sure we're using the right character set. Characters, HUD characters, character set. That's the one, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Right, let's try that again. Right, one power up pill. There we go. One power up pill. In fact, the other one's there. So what we need to do now is we need to, when Quasi comes along it, yeah, we need to be able to figure out, we've got to figure out where Quasi is, and then we've got to eliminate it. Yeah. Well, that's going to be fun, isn't it? Right. So, game logic. I think in here, I think we work out what's underneath him. Here we go. Evaluate the sprite. Evaluate the sprite surroundings. Where's collisions? Ah. Evaluate the sprite surrounding. So we're so we're looking for what's around the sprite. Okay, let's let's find out where those memory locations are. Just looking here. There. So what's around the sprite is at 3161. Right, let's have a look. Let's see if it picks up. Um, let's see if it picks up the right um, block thing. So let's go into debugger. Go to 3161. One. 
So these these here, one, two, three, four, are the ones we're interested in. These two are what's he standing on. So they're the two characters below him. We're not interested in that. We're interested in what he's doing. So I've got to figure out what... Right, okay. Right, there we go. I've got, got it. Right. Come on, mate. Don't fall into the lava. Right, so we'll just drop down. So at the moment, everything's 0, 0, 0, F. So it's picked up that in front, well, in front of him is a power pill. So if we move, that F should move with us. So that F should come to here in a minute, in a sec. There it is. And then it shall move here. There it is. And then it moves there. Which is away. So we're only interested in these two here. There. And there, effectively. They're the only two we're interested in. So we've got to net. We need to test now. Um... All right, mate. We'll see you later. So once, once these, once we've evaluated where they are, then we need to be able to. Um, what's that? Workout screen location. No, we don't want that. Get actual location. No. Oh, maybe it is workout screen location. Sprite number, screen column, output screen column and screen row. Right, okay. So we need to use this as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to have to test which test which block it's in, because then um, depending on where the sprite is, we're going to have to. Um, work out whether it's on that side of the sprite or that side of the sprite because the sprite's bigger than that and then affect the staging area so um where are we going to put that Um. Hmm. Oh, this is going to be slightly harder than I thought. This is going to be a slightly more difficult than I thought, originally thought. Yep, of course it is. It's the only language you really need to know. So let's 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 work this out. Hello, John here. 
Thank you for following. Hope you enjoy the stream. Hey, -oh. thank you very much for following. Welcome. I just got to manually put you in. There you go. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try, we're going to try and make sure we, we hit the right spot. So we're going to try and figure out where it is on the screen. Because remember that the sprite is effectively three characters tall, two and a half, to be honest. But it's three characters wide. So we need to make sure that we affect the right part of the screen. So, um... Right, so Hi, John here. Another subscriber. Stay a while. Stay forever. Oh, thank you for subscribing. <laughs> You've only just joined us. Welcome. See me subscriber link automatically works. Oh, and it's <laughs> ASP. Well, at least it's not doing NAN months. I'll have to have a look at that. I thought I'd fix that. Anyway, uh, right. So we need to figure out. So we're looking at the two cell. We're looking at the two cells behind Hunchback. Yeah, <laughs> that's commitment. So we're gonna we're gonna look at um, now. Have I got constants for the the different locations? Yes, uh, I have. So we are looking. We are looking for these two here: center left, center right. <laughs> we mean a huge risk. <laughs> right. So we'll just stick them in there, so we know what we're talking about. So, uh, right, we need to grab this. So, um... So we'll test center left first and we'll compare it with map uh, da, 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 da. not fire, not fire, ladder, not ladder, timer, power block, there we go. Uh, branch if equal to wherever, branch if equal to somewhere. We haven't figured that out yet. Then we'll do the same thing again, but this time using that one. So that's testing. That's testing where we are. So um, Now we just need to <laughs> stop abusing the messaging system. Um, so what I want to do is I want to we're going to work out we're going to work out where we are and. We're going to change the character to a different different one just to see if we're in the right ballpark. So we'll do the we'll do the first one first. <laughs> oh 
my bots against me. Right. So we're going to do the we're going to do the the left hand center. So we need to work out where we are. We need to work out where we are. <laughs> My bot thinks it's cool. <laughs> right. So if it's not equal to, we'll RTS back out. So, um, We'll just do a temporary thing called set the screen. So this is quasi, so we know what quasi's uh, um, thingy number is. High res sprite number, oops. So we're working out, work out the screen lock X and Y, and then the actual location. So the actual location should be in there. The scroll is buggy. <laughs> I told you the scroll is buggy. I ain't quite fixed it yet. It's getting there. Oh, you you bust me scroller. You bust me scroller again. Oh no, look, it's there. Oh, now it's always like that. <laughs> you bust me screw. Oh, no. Has my bot had a fit? Hang on. Yeah, my bot's had a fit. Let me figure that. Fix that. Oh, yeah, I had a big error message. <laughs> Cannot read property. Oh, dear. Hang on. There we go. We're back on. Stop using quotes. <laughs> oh dear. It's working now. There you go. But it's bust the scroller on the on there, hasn't it? Oh, look! Oh, it's catching up. It's catching up. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Okay. Back to the matter in hand. So we want to check what character should we use to say that we've we've nailed it. Um. What character should we use to say we've nailed it? Um, yes, that is true. It's a Raspberry Pi 2 that's running this. So it is running at what? Point, oh, not point 0.9 megahertz. Point 0.900 megahertz, I think. Yeah. 
It's a Raspberry Pi 2. You know it's a Raspberry Pi 2. It's going to get retired at the end of the year. I'm going to put a 3 on it. I've been testing out the 3. Seems I've got a spare one now. Right, what character should we put in, in its place? Um, we'll put the lines, that one there. Yeah? We'll put that one there. It's 102. So, load... Hi, John here. Another subscriber. Stay a while. Stay forever. Hey, Tron. Thanks for subscribing. Oh! We got a gifted sub. Oh my god, is that the first gift? No, it's not the first gifted sub. No, Warlock did that, didn't he? Tron, you a subscriber, mate. Hey. Right. One oh, I think, was it 102? Yeah, 102. Right, so we're going to see if we can... Let's just make sure this is right. Yep. Right, we're going to see if if we, we're picking out the right place, yeah? Well, it's the first it's the first gifted sub in this channel for a while. Hi, John here. Another subscriber. Stay a while. Stay forever. Doctor. <laughs> Doctor mate, thanks for subscribe. Oh, there's a hyper train started. Oh, what have you guys done? <laughs> oh dear. There's a hyper train going, oh dear. Right, okay. Let's get back to the matter in hand. Right, let's see. Hi, John here. <laughs> Another subscriber. <laughs> Stay a while. Stay forever. <laughs> Thank you, mate. Thank you very much. Right. Le Cheers, Tron. All right, let's see if this character changes. So we're going to jump past it and drop down. <laughs> Are you joking? Is it doing it? Level two, really? Really, level two? Oh, no. Right. So we're going to see if this character changes... If we get this character to change. No. 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 Right. And I'm a Dumbo with all the excitement of the hyper train. <laughs> Great defender. Cheers, mate. <laughs> no. Doxter. No. Man. That's 2,000 in this session. Man, that's just too generous. Too generous. Right. I've got to get back into the grind. Here we go. So, <laughs> I've, I've, not run the, I've not run the routine, have I? Oh, I know it's more than that in total, mate. But in this session... Oh, no, it is more than that in this session, isn't it? Yeah. Oh dear. Right. I'm not running this. I need to run it. <laughs> I've, I've written it, but not running it. Right. So we'll we'll stick it directly after we've evaluated the surroundings. <laughs> Mate. Mate. Oh my god. 86% on that. Right, so <laughs> we're gonna. Oh, I'm losing the plot here. Right, so we're going to run whether we hit the power pill. Right, let's start it again. 
86% on level 2. Really? Right. Come on. SP. Oh, man. Thank you for the bits. Right. Do we change? <laughs> Oh, thank you very much. Oh, 3%. Doxter, not again. Really? Oh my god, level 3. No way. Right. Come on. Change, change, change. No, come on. Why are you changing? Ah. Are we actually, um... <laughs> right, let's do, um, if it's equal, let's do Tron. Oh, man. Another thousand bits. Mate, that's half that level. You are very, you are very generous, mate. Too kind. Right, I'm going to put a break, uh, break point here. Because I want to see if we actually get here. Yes, you did just start something, mate. I think this is the second ever hyper train I've ever had. Right. Oh, it's gone straight into it. Oh, I've just spotted what the problem is. Yes. It's that. Thank you very much, Tron. And Doxter. Thank you for your... And Hondo. Even though he's a, a noob to the channel. <laughs> just another normal stream. <laughs> right. Hopefully now, we're going to get somewhere. We want that character to change. That's what we're looking at. Right, so we're not hitting it now, which is good. Right, jump. 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 I'm a lot better in slow-mo, aren't I? There is a glitch on the rope. There's definitely a glitch on the rope. Right, here we go. Let's go into big mode. Uh, not that one. That one. Does that character change? Right, it's broke. Good. Uh, Oi, John, pay attention to chat. <laughs> <laughs> oh is it my turn mate oh okay thank you <laughs> right let's see what's going on so locate x Locate Y. There we go. Right. Load 66. Store it. Where did it store? Forty seven. Forty seven. Four six CO. Okay. Oh, it did it. Oh, and it's in the wrong place. Oh, rats. It's in the wrong place. It's there. So we need to make it go there. Okay. So that's easy enough done. We do that. 
and we'll move that to there. Yeah, um, at the moment we're just trying to get the, see if we can get the technology working, yeah? So this, this one, I'm going to try and make it a timer one, yeah? Where you get more time on the time, on the time bar. But I just want to be able to identify where it is so we can wipe it out, yeah? Right, so we'll uh, come down here. Right, we'll go into big mode. So what did we get? We got to we got to level three, did we? Hey, excellent! Right here we go. So do we? Right. So we've broke. We've broke. Level two. Oh, well done, guys. Well done. My second hyper train, and we got to level two. Excellent. Right. So do we? So we're trying to. Right, we're trying to change this character, yeah? There we go. Right, we've got that one. We've got that one. Because I've just changed it to that. So, I'm now going to... We're going to come at it from a different angle this time. So, we'll do it again. But we'll come at a different angle and see if it still... See if it still sets the same one. Right, here we go. Watch John's excellent gaming skills. Go for it, Quasi. And no. <laughs> I've made this game too hard. Come on, hurry up. Here we go, try again. Right, here we go. Down we come. Right. So we'll walk onto it. There. Right. Do we replace it? Oh, I'm in the wrong mode, aren't I? Yes, we do. Right, okay. We are, we're, we're on a winner. Right, we're on a winner on that one. So that's that's now saying that we are we're in the right ballpark for the left for the left hand side. So we need to do the same for this side as well. Yeah. So instead of uh, that, so a branch if not equal to uh, test. Uh, what are the right? Test right side. So this is going to be test right side. And we'll do the same thing again. We'll grab that. In fact, we'll grab the whole lot. We'll RTS out of it. And see where that's coming from now. <laughs> so, um, we'll rem that lot out. Because I don't want that getting in the way. We'll leave the break point there. Right, let's let's run it. Oh, I've run it, and I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do shift in there. Right.
Oh. That's gone straight into it. Oh, I've made that stupid mistake again. Plank. <laughs> You're sweating. It's not that. It's not that difficult. Not really that difficult. The beauty about assembly is we are talking to the CPU directly. We're telling the CPU what to do. You know, it's not like a high level language where you tell the language what to do and then the language decides how it's going to do it. All right. Right, so we're now testing the right hand side. So he should be able to walk on it. And then there, it's broke there. So we'll go to that one. All right, okay. <laughs> okay. Right, so do we, are we hitting the right one? Store. And we're one too many, which I thought we might have been. So that is going to be two. That is going to be two. So I think we've got it nailed. <laughs> um, yeah, a long time. But there was a break in between there of like 30 years. Um, right, so let's just make sure that that's uh, that we got that right. He had enough trouble with basic. <laughs> right. Up. Over. Come on. Keep going. Let's get the scroller to kick in. There we go. Right. Down. We should run up. There we go. So this time, go to the other view. So this time... We should, it should change it. Yes, get in there. Right, we're on a winner. So we've got the two, we've got the two to do, we've got the two to do. Good. So, the power pill is going to be, is going to be replaced, not by that one, but this one here, character zero. Because we're going to wipe it out. Yeah? But, Instead of wiping it out, um, instead of wiping it out on the screen, which we're currently doing, we're going to be wiping it out in um, in the um, the staging area. God, I can't, got, got to get my words out. So we need to be able to. Um, so we've got this get screen actual location. We've got this and we can use that. We can use that to work out where it is in the staging area. I'm sure we can use that to where we get in the staging area. Get screen actual location. That's what we're looking for. Get screen actual location. Here we go. So we get returned the screen column and the screen row. So we should be able to work out the staging point. Yeah, we should be able to work out the staging point. So let's grab that. And we'll modify this so we can do the thing. So, 
So this is going to be get staging, staging actual location, right. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, Blitz Basic. I've got that for the C64. Blitz Basic. Yeah, it's behind there. Right. Um, okay, so. We don't need to test for the current. We don't need to test for the current. You broke the offer. <laughs> Veterans? Veterans? We're hip. We're now. <laughs> what am I talking about? <laughs> what am I talking about? Right, so... Um... Yes, we are. We're the elite of the elites. Yes, we are. Right, so I need to... We need to create storage. Have we got storage? Um, no, okay. It's not in there, so it must be. Where is it else? Uh is it, it's not game constants. Is it game constants? Nah, it can't be game constants. Anybody remember where I put the vectors? Oh, lib scroller. There we go, lib scroller. In <laughs> my code, of course. <laughs> oh dear, mate. Right. So we need to we need to work out. We need to do what we've done here, which is. Which is that. So this is the staging. Whoops. Row low. So we're talking 25 rows of 120 characters. So that's max width. Star two. Put them in brackets to make sure. 120. And staging row high. How is my intro demo knowledge? Well, to be honest, I've never done one, to be honest. I helped, I helped Warlock do Toxic Frenzy's front screen because he was having troubles. But that was just me figuring, just getting his timings right because he was time, his timings were a little bit out. Yeah, the scroll in Toxic Frenzy. Yeah, he, he, and also the raster lines for his logo. 
because these raster lines were all over the place a little bit. He had some shimmer, and um, I had to show him, I had to teach him how to, um, well, I had to show him how to get the timings perfect, so he didn't get the uh, the, the shimmer on the, the raster lines. And, and the, the scroll, I think it was the scroll, text, scrolling text at the bottom. Um, we managed to sort out as well. Um, Constance. I was looking for Constance. But I've never done a... I've never done one myself. Never done one myself. I'm more of an app, I'm more of an app developer because the next, the next sort of, I think the next C64 project, uh, it's pr that'll probably be after 3D Maze is finished. We'll be writing a, like a finance program, a checkbook program um, on the C64 so you, so people can understand how file systems worked and databasing and relational uh, linked lists and all that jazz on it and and then uh, yes that was also in assembly yeah yeah right so that should be I think I'm going to need this. That should be working out our staging row and column. I think that should be working out our staging row and column. Right, so work out. So we need to do this. Now we don't need to test for the screen because we are we are one screen so we don't need to do that and we don't need to do that so we are staging row low and staging row high <laughs> but that's the fun of this technology we have to figure all this out you know it, that that cartwheel was invented ages ago but here we are reinventing the cartwheel again right so uh, da, 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 add x which is that that's the column okay right that should do that So let's go back down here. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, I mean... You can do it, I think. I mean, did I do an NTSC check on um, Neptune Lander? I think I did. I think I did. I think I did. I can't remember. That was such a long time ago, Neptune Lander. Can't believe it's coming up to its fourth birthday, I think it is. Because C64 marks game got released was it last year or year before it 
It can't... It, well, it might have been last year. Did he get... Did he win the award last year? Or was it the year before? Can't remember. Because... My, my video series inspired that game, didn't it? I was so proud. Like a proud father. Right. Um, what we doing? What we doing? Um, oh, yeah. So we're doing that. And then we're going to do the staging area. But the staging area is going to be slightly different. Because... Because... I think it's X. Yeah. We have to add... Transfer X into A, CLC, ADC, lib scroller, dot, left hand, that. Yeah. Oh, it's 2017. Oh, my God. Um... You know, when I look back, when I look back at my channel, because my channel's now, I got what three hundred and three hundred videos on there now. Hang on, I think it's three hundred. Hang on. Including the patron videos, three hundred and seven. Hello. You've given up? Why? Died you died to what? Died. Don't give up. No, no, no. Fresh has come and rescued me. <laughs> Fresh has rescued you. Alright then. <laughs> Someone's been playing Minecraft. I know they know you've been playing Minecraft. Oh, the text scroller. The tech scroller, yeah, that was what that was. That was a very successful Christmas series. That was right. So we add the we add the where the scroller is. Right. So transfer it back into X, and then we can do that. But instead of the screen, it's get staging actual location. And then we should be able to put a zero where it is. Now that's going to be interesting. Right, let's put a break point there. Because I want to see if we if we do wipe it out. It's going to be it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting because if if it does work, I'm going to be really really pleased. I really oh, I'm a proud dad again to another game <laughs> hey you will start watching at the beginning of Neptune Lander yeah a lot of people started what um, found me on that series yeah a lot of people found me on that series right let's see if we can affect the staging area now so F6 Ooh, blow, blew a fuse. What's it complain about? Max width. Doesn't it know what max width is? I mean, it's loading constants in. Oh, is it not in max? Oh, it's not in there, is it? Is it in game constants? Yes. 
Oh, map width. What did I... Oh, put max width. Oh. Ah. Got it wrong again. There we go. Let's try again. <laughs> we talked about fractions last week as well. Come on. Fraction. I mean, I mean yeah. Yeah, I suppose. But yeah, I mean, talked about fractions last week. How to do a how to do a decimal fraction? Uh, not a binary fraction. Sorry. Once you once you understand the concept of it, it's dead easy. Bin, binary fractions. But yeah, that was the first time I introduced everybody to it. Right here we go. Right, let's see if we affect. staging area right so we're gonna fall down hopefully we don't touch it broke vice even oh you had COVID last week oh man yeah have a look at the VOD mate we was talking about it at the back at the the back end of the 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 the, the thing because um, last Wednesday was um, a stream uh, asked by a patron on how to put a sprite on the screen. So I did I did the whole thing from how to do it in basic and then converting the basic into assembly and how how to do it in assembly. And then right at the very end, somebody said, "How do you do these binary fractions?" So we went. Th I went through the binary fraction system with them. I think it was Stuart. Get better soon, though, mate. I mean, I was ill last week. Um, last weekend. Do you know when I had the COVID jab on Wednesday? On Thursday, I had the pneumonia jab. So I had two jabs in two days, and it knocked me right. Off me balance. I was not not well. Right, so it's somewhere around here. So we're looking. We're looking for my character. Where's the character? See, that's the that's the color. So we're looking for my character. It's somewhere up here. Right, so we're going to walk in it. And we're going to step through it. There we go. So, we're looking at 47. Let's look at 47 first. Let's see where it's trying to change. Let's see what it's trying to change. 47 is... Uh, B8, 1E. Right, okay. So we're in the right area. We're in, definitely in the staging area. B8, 1E. Right, B8, 1E. So it's on this line. So it's going to be there. B8, 1E is there that's what he's saying it is that's, I don't think that's right I don't think that's right I think I think it's there I think it's that one there 99 character 99 let's have a look character yeah it's it's out it's out so so that's our character we're aiming for and it thinks we're up here. Hmm. Okay. Well, we'll see. We'll see where it goes. F10. Craptastic 2022 is happening. I need... Oh, right. I 
I do use Linux. I've done streams in Linux. Because I had to show people that you can do this sort of thing in Linux. So I've done it in Linux. Right, where's that store in? There. Oh, we are. We are out. We are out by a, while, a long way. Um, we are out by a long way. Um, just Ubuntu, just Ubuntu. I mean, I've got the ras I've got the Raspberry Pi. Um, I got the Raspberry Pi four down there that you can develop Commodore sixty four games on. Yes. The, yes, that Raspberry's Linux too. Right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put another checkpoint in there somewhere. Um, we'll do it. I'll do it here. Because I wanna. I'm I'm not sure it's picking the right location up. Right, do, do, do. back up, jump, jump, jump. Right, here we go. Break, there's the break point. So, it says we're at column 1C. Is that right? Are we at column 1C? Yes, we are. So we're definitely at the right column. We're definitely at the right column. All right, then. So we clear the carry. We add 1065. That's there. There. Right, so we add 10. <laughs> um, so we add 10. Okay. So it goes to 26. So we must have moved over 20, 10 characters. Transfer it back into X. That's right. Then we go away. Store X. Load F8. Store it there. Load B7. Store it there. Oh, what's it adding 26 for? Oh. No, self mod code. So add 26 is 1E. Ooh, so we're definitely not working this out properly. You'd be working on the other laptop. <laughs> Um, we're definitely not working this out right. It th it thinks we're here somewhere. That's where it thinks we are. Hmm. Now, why would that be?
Hmm. Right, I've got uh, six five up on there, so I should be able to move. Right, six five. There it is. Right, back on that. So if I move, yeah, that is not in the right place. It's the right place on the screen. Hmm, okay. I'm going to have to give this a little bit more thought, I think. Because I thought just setting up a... Setting up this, unless I've got that wrong. Uh, 25, uh, right. 25 times that by 2. Let's look for this. Let's find out what numbers have been put in. There we go. So what did it, it oh it doesn't tell you does it? Oh we'll have to work it out. 78. That's definitely a 120. That's definitely 120. I'm not I am not knocking back any drink. <laughs> I'm not knocking back any drink. Okay. Um So it's definitely right. So it's B seven. Must be that there. Must be that there. Well, that's that's right. So my 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 calculations must not be right. I used to play Worms a long time ago. The original ones, I think. Oh, okay, okay, so this is not... It's not adding it to the right place. Maybe I don't. Let, 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 hang on. Let's work out screen location. Have I got work? Work out screen location. Collisions. Work out actual screen locations. Oh, subtract. Okay, here we go. Subtract the the Y delta. Oh, okay. Maybe, 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 maybe I just need to, uh, Okay guys, I'm going to I'm going to ponder this over the weekend. Cuz clearly something is not it's it's out. I'm going to I'm going to ponder this over the weekend. 
and try and see if I can figure out why. I'll put it in um, GitHub anyway, so you guys can have a look and um, and see if you can spot why it's not working it out right. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much for joining me, and thank you for all the the new subscribers and Hojo Honjo. Welcome to the stream, and I will um, I stream on Mondays and Wednesdays. Uh, Monday is 3D Maze or Maze. It's a maze game we're building, and Wednesdays is normally Hunchback. So have a good one. And I will see you on Monday. All right. Take care, guys. Bye. I'd like to thank all the patrons that are contributing to my channel. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing right now. Thank you very much.